Hey everybody, today I want to walk you through how I would use ClickFunnels um, for local businesses. And I just want to start off by saying that every local business is different. Every local business has its own unique needs, its own unique offerings. So I'm simply going to walk through one example of what I do for my local music store and hopefully you can take these principles and apply them to your own setting. So to start, it all starts with an offer. Um, what is your core offer to get people into your store? The big thing with local businesses is you want an offer that's going to get people to actually show up and engage with your business. So it can be something free. Like in this instance, you can kind of see right here, it's a free piano lesson. It could be something, um, a free item. Come by and make a purchase and get a free shirt. It could be um, some other free service. A lot of times free services are very easy to do because they don't cost much besides your employee's time, which you already have. Um, it can be very steep discounts. It can be merch to, or coupons to other things in the community. Any of those all work. And before I go further, I just want to make sure you know anything I talk about in this video, you can find in the links in the description below this video. And I encourage you to check out those links because there's a lot of great resources down there. So, um, including this funnel that you can grab and use and adjust to your own liking. So it all starts with the offer. What's the offer that's going to get people in the door? And that's what you need to start with. And as you, you can see over here, that my offer is actually step two of the funnel. For a lot of businesses that are very open, um, I'll just run my ads or my traffic straight to that step two, straight to that offer, just to get people in the door. Sometimes, though, if you have a certain niche or you have to only appeal to a certain mindset of people or you find that this offer is drawing a crowd of people that you don't like, they're not really... Um, they're people that are claiming the offer but are not necessarily your ideal customer, then you need to do something called pre-framing. And in this scenario, you will need a blog post in front of it. It doesn't have to be hosted on ClickFunnels. If you have a blog of your own on your own local business site, you can definitely do the blog there and then just link over to these steps. Um, but most of the time, if it's client work, I'm just going to use it right on ClickFunnels because it's easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-frame my audience, get them in the right mindset. So for me, and in many settings, I am just writing a very simple article about how to choose the perfect music teacher. And what you find is people that um, click on that article and want to read that article are ones that care about their teacher, who care about what type of business, um, who have more of a respect for some of the intricacies that maybe your business brings. So you're pre-framing them with a piece of content. For one, only people who are going to click on the content actually kind of care about what it is you're offering. So they're going to care more about um, why you're offering your offer and who you are, um, what your expertise is. They're going to care more about that stuff because they're trying to engage with a piece of content. And then within the content, you can see the red buttons. Those are all get your free lessons. Um, so then that's where you go to the offer. So I like to bury the offer inside of content a lot of times. So then from there, whether it's a blog on ClickFunnels or a blog on your own website, it'll go to the offer page and then simply <clears throat> get in touch. Here's your stuff. And then the thank you page is nothing special. Um, but it just says, hey, thanks, a staff member will be in touch soon. Um, you can add some scarcity on there. If it's an appointment-based thing, you can say call today because their spots are limited. Or you can say um, an extra bonus if you act today. Use this coupon in the next 24 hours and get extra bonuses, whatever it is. You can add a lot of different things to get people to act. This is kind of the... Um, the final push. Hopefully there's something here that says, um, hey, act now, or hey, this is what you can expect next. Um, that sets them up to start the conversation to actually get them in the door. Um, so that's how I run my ads, and that's how I use ClickFunnels 
for a wide variety of local businesses. If you like this funnel structure, you can go ahead and click the link in the description below. You can add this exact funnel to your ClickFunnels account. And if you don't have one, go ahead and click on this funnel anyways. And you can sign up for one if you use an incognito window. You can get an account for as low as $19. Um, otherwise, go ahead and sign up and you will not be disappointed using ClickFunnels for your local business. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to engaging in a great conversation with you. And if you found this helpful, I would be more than appreciative if you hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and give me some great feedback on what videos I can make for you further. So happy marketing, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.